Pisces, how are you doing? Just getting ready to do your reading, so let's see what energies we have for you for this time. On the header, you'll notice, probably notice I've taken out the dates and the weeks and I've just put for the month of June. As I said before, these headers are very, very loosely connected because timing is so fluid with as far as tarot goes. So from now on, I'm just, I'm just going to put the month just to give you a general feeling, you know, of knowing where to look. And it's it all depends on where you are on your karmic line, as I've said. So with that out of the way, let's get into it. Wow. A lot of abundance, the sun. You have the tower next to it. You have... The Seven of Pentacles. You have the Five of Swords. You have the Seven of Swords. Ace of Wands. Wow. First of all, the bottom of the deck, you have the Eight of Swords, you're feeling stuck. King of Swords, that's all about truth and knowing exactly what you want, the feeling of authority. Whatever it is, is, is a heavy load, the Ten of Wands. You've been carrying this burden. Yeah, this this sun energy. There's there's a lot of abundance around you, but it's that's on the surface. I feel because underneath there's there's the tower here, and this this abundance is like a an illusion. I feel because with the tower there, it's. There's something, there's a revelation there or a realisation that your true happiness lies elsewhere. That's what I'm getting. I've, the underlying energy is the, is the Seven of Pentacles. So, you know, you, you've been waiting patiently. And I feel that thing with the present situation, things have been delayed. The person you're connected to at the moment or the situation, you feel like it's dominating you. Uh, because in the past it's caused some conflict. That's what I'm, that's what I'm picking up from these cards. And you're tired of this conflict. You just want to leave peacefully with this Seven of Swords. You know, you. but at the moment, there's, there's outside influences blocking you from moving. But in the near future, you have got this Ace of Wands here. So something wants to come in. Something new wants to come in. So, let's get you three or four more cards. I feel to allow this new thing to come in, it's, you know, your present situation has, has got to be left behind. I feel you're already leaving it behind mentally. You're just, you're just waiting for the right moment. You have, you have the world card, the lovers, the hierophant, 
and the outcome, the Page of Wands. Yeah, I feel you want to move on to pastures new here. And with a new love connection that is very, very strong. It's, it's something coming in that you feel much more comfortable with and will make you much happier. This sun here at the moment is trying to poke through, but these clouds, you're surrounded by clouds. That's, that's sort of the impression. It's like you're in a dark room at the moment and you feel confined and constricted, dominated, controlled, and it's, it's like an opening of the door and you just walk in through it. With this page of wands, that's that to me is is a new direction. Yeah, yeah. Oh yes, yes. I I I, I fear you with this emperor. You got. You're going to move on from this dominating force, this controlism, and you're going to you. You have another travel card here, the Six of Swords. It's it's trying to pull you back, but you want to move on to much more comfortable surroundings, possibly with an Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, who who is the beginnings of new love with this Page of Cups here. And you have the Three of Cups here also, which is celebration, happier times in general. I'm going to conclude it on that, and I hope to see you again soon. Bye for now.